Hi all. So as you said before, I canvas different as you can see here. It's a canvas. And afterwards what we do, we a lot of times we'll put an edge tape in and some of it can be like a linen tape or a, some fusing tape or whatever. I do I put an actual piece of lining in, I cut I just cut like an inch, roughly approximately about an inch lining and and then i put this in but you should always pre-shrink your lining because lining shrinks badly and some sewers fail to understand this so pre-shrink the lining so it won't you won't shrink especially if you're going to have it dry cleaned or whatever you're going to do of course this is water so you can't wash this got to be dry cleaned so i've got some piece of lining out. i've cut some piece of lining on the actual on here you can see i've cut it let's see if you can get a good view there i've cut it on the bias because remember this is curved and then here I've cut it on the straight edge sometimes we'll actually keep that bias going all the way down I don't I want to support this with a straight more on grain there that piece of lining there and here as well and I then this because this is curved this is naturally curved this shape I put this on the bias and I put this on the bias around the armhole you can see and then what I do is I herringbone stitch it, what we call herringbone stitch, and that catches onto the canvas all the way. And now I'm going to do the herringbone stitch on here now. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you just my little way now. Don't want to bore you, everyone, but you can see, I'm sure you'll be able to appreciate what actually goes into a pure bespoke piece of item, like if it's a jacket or a waistcoat or a pair of trousers. I'm just going to get my little needle here, and I call them cross stitches because they resemble cross cross stitches. Um, mm -hmm. But they, I think, technically they're called herringbone stitches. So I'm just going to just show you, and I'm going to just sit with my legs crossed one over the other, and we do it in the trade, or we can do tailor stance where you sit cross-legged. So. So what I do, I've got one leg over there. This this is good for your back posture. And I'm just going to just trim a little bit of this off here, this excess here anyway. So it's fine. So I'm going to do what we could cross stitch, herringbone stitch, same thing. So I'll just catch the canvas. And I'm using red thread because that's red, just in case. It cannot, you cannot go to the other side. You cannot catch the other side. You just have to catch barely canvas so I'm just come up here never be tight with your stitches but don't be too loose either you just have to get strike a happy medium so I'm just going to come across you see what I'm doing so I'll go up and go down so go up and it's you go up at a diagonal and then you come back down here can you see and you don't go through see I nearly went through them so you've got to be really really careful just catch the canvas barely catch the canvas and always check and that's fine always go to your right side and just double check everything okay and there we have it there's your little herringbone stitches and don't be tight and that's fine so I'm just going to carry on all the way around and I'll see you on the other side 